How to camouflage your snowmobile or other hard plastic surface. To begin with, buy any kind of matte spray paint in camo colors, such as dark green, olive, tan, and black. I used outdoor spray paint for metal chairs available at Rona. You can also look at Canadian Tire as Krylon makes a specific camo line of paints. Next, you want to cut out random camo-like designs on paper. There is no specific technique for this, it is all about personal taste. Depending on the size of the project, you may want numerous different designs. I cut out about 10 large designs and 5 smaller ones. Next, you want to remove all stickers and decals from the panels. If you have any shiny panels, like the hood of a skidoo, rough them up with fine sandpaper. You first want to spray a layer of black matte paint to all panels in order to make them solid black. Make sure to get in all crevices and edges of the panels. Allow drying time of roughly 15 to 30 minutes. It is important that you do not proceed to the next steps until the paint is completely dry. Once panels are dried, you can begin your camo pattern. Take the largest of your stencils and place each one wherever you want to begin. I begin in the middle of the panel and worked my way out. I started with dark green, but it is really personal choice. Spray each stencil one at a time, making sure to place stencil elsewhere to dry for use later. Allow this layer to set for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you begin the next layer too soon, it will smudge the previous layers. The second layer is much like the first, but you begin to overlap the first color. Try to begin adding smaller stencils throughout the panel and closer to the edge. Allow this layer to dry again. For the third layer, repeat the above stage but with a different color. Once this is complete, you can look at your design and add the other colors again if you feel it is necessary. Allow all of these layers to dry for 12 to 24 hours before using. It is important that you wear gloves or else your hands will turn out like mine. For best results when using spray paint, shake the can well. Hold the can roughly 15 to 20 centimeters away from the stencil and use short bursts of paint in vertical or horizontal lines. This will keep from building up too much paint in one area, which would cause the paint to run.